Today we'll be showing you the performance hairstyle that you guys will be wearing. For this hairstyle, the part will be on the left side of your head. To do that, we're going to take a comb of any kind, like a rat tail comb, a regular comb, or we just have this little pick. And I like to put the part where their face kind of squares off at the top, so right above um, the peaks of their eyebrows. So I'm going to go right here on Dominique's head and pull the comb straight back, dividing the hair on either side. Making sure that there's no strands of hair and we get a nice clean line for that part. Once you've done that, our braid is going to track from the peak right here and we're going to follow the natural curve of their head all the way until we reach the back of their head. So I'm going to start by having Dominique look a little bit up towards the ceiling. I'm going to take a triangle. If you want to see what I'm doing on top of her head here, I'm going to take a little triangle of hair here and just begin braiding your standard braid. So we're going to divide the strands into three equal pieces and begin laying the one of the outer strands over the middle. Repeating that with the other outer strand, lay it over the middle again. Now for this part, we're going to have to start collecting hair. We're only going to pull hair from where this part is on the side of our head. We want to leave this hair alone and leave it laying down. So I'm going to collect a piece of hair right here and add it into that outside strand. Making sure each strand lays flat before I cross it over the middle. Again, you do the same for this outer piece. But I'm going to collect it from the front of her face, putting that hair in with that strand, making sure it's laying flat and cross it over that middle strand. And we'll repeat this process all the way down her head. Collecting strands from the outside, making sure not to collect any strands of hair that aren't in this line right here. Cross it over the middle. Making sure you tug the braid tight so it stays in place. Again, collecting from the front of her face, adding it to that strand, and crossing it over that middle strand. Sometimes you'll need to go back in and smooth out these strands, making sure that they lay completely flat against your twirler's head. You can even take, if you have a smaller brush, you can take a brush of some sort and gently comb that strand that you want to pull back and make sure that it lays flat. All right, as we get towards the back or crown of your child's head, this braid is eventually gonna end up in a high bun on top of her head. So we're not gonna braid or French braid too far past. And I'll show you as soon as I'm able to move my hands right where I'm gonna stop that French braid so that we can pull it into the bun. So see how that braid stops right here? We've met the back of her head and now I'm going to stop French braiding, but to hold it tight, I'm going to continue my normal braid down her head. This is just going to secure it in place so that we don't have to hold on to this braid as we collect all of her hair into a high top bun. So I'm just going to braid it down a little bit. We'll eventually take some of this braid out once it's secured into the bun so that it doesn't stick out. But again, it just helps it as we secure it into the bun, make sure that the braid does not unravel. So once I've braided it down a little bit and I know that that's eventually gonna go into that bun, it's long enough, I'll take a little elastic and secure it around that braid. Now 
Now you can leave that hang or I'm gonna ask Dominique to hold on to her braid so it's up and out of the way of all this free hair that I need to comb back and get into a high bun. To smooth out the hair, if you have a smoothing gel or even if you just lightly mist the hair with hairspray, it will help keep those flyaways back and help us get a smooth high bun. So I just collect all of the hair and brush it with my right hand as I hold it in my left hand. And just take your time as you smooth it out. It will take a little bit of time to work your way up and get this ponytail on top of her head. If you or your baton twirler has really thick hair, sometimes it can help by asking your twirler to tip their head over so that this hair starts falling more naturally towards that crown of her hair. And it makes it really easy to pull this hair up and get it smooth. If you have a brush that has these little bristles in here, like most people have these standard brushes and these are gonna leave thicker lines throughout the hair. If you have one of these smoothing brushes, that really helps to flatten out and make the hair look uniform all throughout this high bun. Once you get it to the crown of their head, just hold it tight to their head Making sure to pull all these strands back. And then I'm just going to go ahead and secure it in a ponytail to start. Once it's up in the ponytail, you have your dancer pick their head back up. And I'm going to continue to work putting a little bit more hairspray throughout her hair and working from the bottom up I'm going to pull up towards the bun or the ponytail as it is now working to smooth out her hair even more Most of these little bumps that it's creating up here will be hidden by the bun and the hair piece. But if you end up getting large ones, you can bobby pin them down. So now we're gonna take her ponytail and we're gonna begin twisting it around in a circle. As the twist gets tighter, it's gonna wanna naturally start bending a certain way. As you can see, it's starting to curve. I'm going to follow that curve and lay it against her head, continuing to twist the bun and wrap it around the base of itself. Once you've come to the end and you only have a little bit left, we're going to just put an elastic over this bun, making sure to secure those ends in. If you have a lot of hair or thick hair, sometimes you might need to bobby pin that down just because it can get to be weighty on top of the head. After that, you'll have a hair piece that has been assigned to you. This is what is eventually going to go over top of that bun. Before we do that, I'm going to take her braid. And now removing this little elastic that we put in and holding on to it. Trying not to hurt your twirler's head as you do this. I'm going to take another hair tie and I'm going to wrap this braid part and wrap it around her bun, now including it completely with the bun that was already secured to her head. That makes sure that the braid lays nicely and we don't get any bumps by pulling it straight up with the bun. After that, we're going to put her hair piece right over the bun like that. Again, use your appropriate hair piece. And to secure this, you should have some wide bobby pins that look like this. And you're gonna, right where the base of your hair piece elastic is in your bun, you're gonna wedge them between there, making sure you secure 
all sides of your buns to your twirler's head. And you can put in as many as you need, have your twirler do some moves, shake it around, make sure that nothing is gonna come out while they're performing. And that is the finished look as you go around. You can use more gel, more hairspray. If you block their face, you can spray it and smooth little pieces down. Making sure that you glue their head, their hair to their head, make sure nothing moves. Also, if your child has layers in their hair or short hair, a hairnet may be helpful to put underneath the hair piece. So after you do the bun, you can wrap a hairnet around your hair and then pin that to your head. Like I said, if there's gonna be layers or short hair that's sticking out of the bun, that hairnet will go ahead and secure all of that down for you.